This is code.org. Finally, width and height of images, y'all. Find the property in the style sheet. And so once again, we're headed to the style sheet. This is the HTML, right? This stuff is what adds it to the page. The style sheet is what gives it style. So IMG, this is what throws the image on the page. Our style sheet is a different document. It's a different file. The name of it, mine four, and I'm going over this again because it's super important, style.css. Could be named something else, but let's head over, style.css, and change the width images to be larger or smaller. That controls width of images. So if you scroll down here, you're going to notice you don't see the word image, and that's because in HTML, how do we add an image? It's just IMG. So in the style sheet, IMG. Change the width of images to be larger or smaller. So do I see width? Yep, on line 20 for me. Oh, that's the border. Oh, on line 17, 20. Ooh, what if I do 20 through that? Wow. Okay, what do they have of that? Ooh, I kind of like 200. I'm going to think 150. Eh, that's too small. I think I'm going to do 175 for mine, and I think you can do whatever. Use the width prop width. Create a new rule with a height. So now a rule set, a rule is just one thing, right? Float is a rule in the image rule set. Width is a rule in the image rule set. Margin is a rule. So now it's asking us to do height. So I'm going to put mine right under width. I could put it under line 22 as well, but I'm going to the end of line 17. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type in the word height with a colon. And I don't know what's a good height. Uh, 100 px. Make sure you have the px. It stands for pixel. And then I did a semicolon, which is next to the L key. Oh, look. So we can actually, can we, whoa, that's super stretched out. Oh, so we can distort them if we can control both of these. Eh, eh, I'll distort them a bit for fun. I'm going to go with 90. Now, use the width. You do whatever you want, right? It's your page. Use the width property in the P or the paragraph rule set to change the width of your paragraph. Okay. So for me, the paragraph rule set starts on 26. So I guess I'll go to the end of line 30, or you might have a background color. If you didn't add that, you should have. Uh, but you just need it within this P curly brace to ending curly brace. So I'll put mine at the bottom here, and I'm going to do with, huh, what do we think this will do? I'm going to try 50 PX and then a colon, a semicolon, which again, this next layer. Oh, wow, that mushed my paragraphs. Okay, maybe I'll do 150. Mm. Still do. What about 350? Oh, I like that. Mm, maybe I don't. Mm, 450 is too big. 350 it is. Cool. And I want all of this aligned. So I'm going to tab. Why is that looking weird? Um, I just highlighted mine and shift tab to line it all up. Oh, this is going to turn me nuts. Students, you probably don't have to do this, but it will bother me. Okay. Anyways. But, uh, we got the image width here and height. And we got the width of our paragraphs. Onward.